Epiphania. Epiphania, you are lying to me. No, Papa. Honestly, no. Epiphania, you have disobeyed me. But how, Papa? Why do you say such a thing? Epiphania, why did you marry this man? He looked so exciting, so fascinating. Yes, and he had a wonderful backhand. But did he pass the test? What did you say? Did he pass the test? I thought that's what you said. That is exactly what I said. The test to which you had sworn to submit your future husband, hand him 500 pounds, and marry him only if he succeeded in turning it into 15,000 pounds within three months. Did you do so? Well, I did as you told me to do. I gave him 500 pounds. You gave him 500 pounds worth of shares, and three months later, you bought these same shares back for 15,000 pounds. But they were worth it, Papa. But what did he do? Hmm? Nothing. Epiphania, you have sworn a solemn oath, and you have cheated on it. But I should have known it. We Parergas must always have what we want. And we go to any length to get it. What shall I do? Tell me. What shall I do? Yes. You haven't changed, my daughter. You still over 